Hello again, everyone. Welcome back to King's Quest V. Let's go ahead and uh, get the heck out of here. Oh. Hi, lady. How's it going? A lovely young girl with long black hair, olive skin, and flashing green eyes laboriously scrubs the cold stone floor. Though wearing rags, her beauty nevertheless shines through. Uh, of course. They're always beautiful. Graham surveys Mordak's kitchen in disgust. It is an untidy mishmash of dirty pots, jars with unidentified contents, rags, and assorted junk. Even with all that, Graham can see nothing that interests him. You, uh, you're not doing a very good job of cleaning here, uh, fire girl. burns hotly in the fireplace, while something in the iron pot boils above it. Graham surveys Mordak's... The doorway goes into a hallway containing an unusual pipe organ. Graham surveys... Alright, well, uh, let's uh, talk to this uh, girl. Don't come near me! Leave me alone! No! I would never hurt you. I'd like to help you. Exactly. I don't believe you. You're probably one of them. Them? I'm not. Believe me. We don't even know Let's who them is. Away. Please. I don't want to talk to you anymore. Hey, right, look, maybe we can give her something. Um Here, look, look. Have a key. A key to my heart. Take that away from me. I don't want it. Oh. Um, uh, how about a crystal? Take that away from me! Nope. It's a pretty crystal. Here, look, e every girl likes a dead fish, right? Take that away! Apparently not. Um, hairpin? Take that away! Nope. Uh, look, sack of peas. Everyone likes a sack of peas. Take that away! Damn it. Tetanus! You know you want tetanus! Apparently not. Lock it. Oh, Warning. hey. This cartoon contains material. Yeah, we'll watch it. Man, I found this locket in the rock's nest, and it works. Eh, girls love jewelry. Wherever did you find my gold locket? Well, actually, a rock's I nest. I thought it was gone for good. I lost it on the island just after I was brought here by Mordak. You wouldn't believe me, even if I told you. No, but I think she me, might. Who are you, and how did you come to be here? My name is Princess Cosima, from the Kingdom of the Green Isles. My father, the king, employs a horrible wazir who befriended Mordak. When Mordak saw me, he immediately wished to marry me and bring me here. Naturally, I refused, and my father agreed with me. But our refusal angered him so much that he stole me here anyway and put me to work as a scullery girl. He says he will never let me go, that a scullery girl I will remain until I agree to marry him. But the thought revolts me. What am I to do? Kill him? Poison him? Turn him into a Don't cat? Don't worry. I'm here to save my family from the evil wizard. He's got them here someplace imprisoned inside a glass bottle. If I can manage to rescue them, then of course I wouldn't forget you either. I know the glass bottle you're talking about. It's in Mordak's laboratory upstairs. Keep quiet about my presence. Uh, I think this will be the most difficult part of my journey. I may not survive it. Nah, it'll be fine. I will never give you away. And I will help you in any way I can, kind sir. Also, that's a great thing, you know. I, I, I'll, I'll get this woman to, uh... To, to marry me and love me by by making her into my scullery maid. Good plan. Good plan. Well, let's take a quick save. Yeah, I know. He's an evil wizard. Of course, he's going to do evil things. Blah, 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 blah. Oh, isn't this lovely decor? Two distorted figures of bird-like women flank both sides of the monstrous pipe organ. A hideous, yet fascinating pipe organ commands attention as Graham walks through a downstairs hallway. Well, you know, Rosala knew how to play one. Surely we do, too. Graham watches in horrified fascination as the grotesque organ begins to magically play an eerie tune. Oh. All by itself. Uh-oh.
I don't think it's that bad. It's kind of catchy, in fact. Totally turn it into an awesome rock ballad. I, I don't know. So is this going to, like, do something for me? Is there, like, going to be a little cupboard open up that, that has a key in it? That's what, that's what organs do, right? That's what I've learned. Oh. Hi! Goodbye, King Graham of Daventry. <laughs> How did you know it was me? Wait, 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 whoa, 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 whoa. Ah, oh, 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 my neck, oh. Oh. Poor Graham. Mordak shows no mercy. Oh, he's all puckered for a kiss. Okay, so in other words, don't play the organ. Gotcha, game, gotcha. Alright, I'll keep that in mind. You could have warned me about this, uh... I've already forgotten what your name is. I see you looking at me. Apparently I can't look at the thing that's looking at me. A massive dining table has been placed before a large, ornate fireplace. You know, the uh, the difference in uh, decor between uh, uh, Mananan's house and uh, uh, Mordak's crazy castle this thing? This appears to be the huge dining hall of the castle. Graham wonders who eats here besides Mordak. It's pretty impressive. A massive dining table has been placed before a large, ornate fireplace. Statues of strange birdmen line the walls of the immense dining hall. Uh, we should check to see if it's Pazuzu. Statues of strange... No, no, no. Crotch is perfectly normal. Alright, what's, uh, what's down here? Anyone? Hello? Anyone? No one? Graham finds himself in Mordak's immense dining hall. Well, it's not that big. Graham finds himself in Mord... Oh, hello? What? Oh. Uh, what are you doing? Hey, hey, hey. I, I didn't see that doorway there. What are you doing? Unhand me, you foul fiend! Oh. Well, shucks. Now I'm captured. Graham can see a small, moldy piece of cheese just inside the mouse hole. Sweet! Graham can almost mm. reach the piece of cheese inside the mouse hole, oh. but finds his hand too large to reach very far. Um... Surely the fish will work. That implement won't quite work here. No. The wand? Graham gives the wand a good shake. No. Fish hook. How did you get in? What? Oh, Princess Cosima, where did you come from? From the labyrinth. I spend a lot of time down here, you know, with my friends. Y friends? Your friends? Yes. Like Zink and Sam. I don't know if you ever saw Sam or not. Anyway, I found this loose stone once that led here, to this cell. Now come on, you'd better get out of here. O okay, but I gotta get this cheese. There, got it. The Excellent. fish hook did the trick in retrieving the piece of cheese from the mouse hole. That that extra millimeter helped. Oh look, it's blue cheese. Green mold covers the small piece of cheese. Well, um, we got cheese, everyone. Yay! Sure, that'll come in handy because everything else does. Oh God, I gotta make my way through here again. Okay, well, at least we can just follow her, it looks like. I 
Well, I'm glad you walked through this uh, part twice. That That's helpful. And uh, you're going to walk through this uh, corner twice again? Yep. How do you do that? Like Dimension Door or something. Boy, I'm glad I don't have to figure this out on my own. I think if you uh, took a wrong turn, then you would have to. Because uh, I think you would have lost her. Like, if I went off that side first and then uh, uh, came back, then she wouldn't continue any of these uh, turns. <clears throat> and that would be annoying. So, uh, you want to tell me anything about same? Oh, thanks for closing the door on me. Alright, let's save it again. And hope that that odd blue guy does not come by, come back again. We did want to get uh, captured once, so it's good that that happened. By the way, who are you? Uh, didn't I tell you? I'm King Graham of Daventry. I'm surprised I didn't tell you. I think I know where that is. It's very far from my home, though. Don't worry. Somehow. I'll get you home again, but first, I've got to save my family. Yes, well, <laughs> I'll stand by you, King Graham. I'll help if I can. Thanks. I may need it. Eh, uh, Well, sure I'd better I'll. get back to work, and you should keep out of sight. It's kind of hard to aye, keep aye, out of sight. Lady. But whatever. Can we talk to her again? While Princess Cosima busily scrubs the kitchen floor, Graham nope. tries to figure out what to do next. Uh, well... Let's, uh... Let's save it again. So there's that, that blue guy, and there's another person who can uh, uh, foul us up. Aha! There's the blue guy. Let's see if uh, I can do this. Well, we've got a bag full of round things. That's kind of sad. Well, at least he's out for good. Yeah, he really is Graham out for good. He carries a large empty bag, once occupied by dried peas. Okay. Um let me see. I don't think there's anything else that we need to do down here. Uh there is a second floor that we want to get to. Uh let's go ahead and save again. Alright, there's a little ding sound that keeps making me think that uh, uh, I'm getting points. Well, isn't this a lovely room? Graham gapes at an odd figure of a bird-like, yet reptilian-like woman. It's not, not bird, it's, 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 those, those aren't bird wings. Graham looks in astonishment around the strange foyer filled with an assortment of bizarre oddities. Graham looks in a, Graham looks, Graham looks, Graham looks, Graham look Graham look Graham look. Okay, so apparently uh Curiously, Graham looks at the strange figure, but sees nothing of use. Ah. Curiously. Okay, well I guess we'll save it again. Go upstairs. It's a very odd room filled with odd decorations like winged scorpion tailed Cobras. Just, you know, seriously, uh, Mordak, we need to talk to you about uh, your decor. It's it's pretty bad. A huge monstrosity of a skull-like figure leers at passers-by of an upstairs hallway. I mean, this is just like gratuitously evil for the sake of being gratuitously evil. Graham can see into Mordak's laboratory, 
through the doorway. This doorway leads into Mordak's bedroom. Sweet! Let's go to his bedroom. What's the worst that could happen? You know, uh, other than, you know, death. It's the worst that could happen, I suppose. Wakey, wakey, sleepy. Oh. Aha! The black cat eyes Graham suspiciously. Hmm. Here, kitty, kitty, kitty. Yes, I got the bag. You! How did you get here? I, I walked. I have journeyed far over land and sea. Never mind. Your journey is now over. What are you talking about? Hey, what? Where did you go, cat? Darn, that darn cat. Oh. Hey. Goodbye, king. Well, and he kills us again. <laughs> With the, uh, the, the, the force choke thing. Yes, yes, yes. I, I'd like to reload. So we need to, uh... Poor Graham. See More. about tricking, uh, Mananan. I actually did not remember that you could talk to him. You. I have never. Okay, apparently we don't want to do that. Uh, let's restore now before, uh, Mordak appears and kills us, because that would be, you know, just gratuitous on the, uh, uh recurring death. <clears throat> Alright, well, Mananan is a cat, and, uh, as we all know, cats, like... Okay, that... he's not there. Now he's not there. Well, shucks. Ah, there we go. I'm glad you've returned. Oh, kitty. Let's put the cat in the bag. <laughs> the cat struggles in vain inside the bag. I think I got to sneeze. <laughs> oh, sorry about that. Oh, ooh, better. Okay. I think that's a good point to uh, end the episode. Uh, we've bagged the cat. No one will be letting that cat out of the bag anytime soon. And with that, we're further on our way to... Uh, I don't know, I'd say avenging ourselves against this uh, uh, family of wizards, but, you know, I mean, they, they... We did turn one of them into a cat. Admittedly, he had, you know, stolen, you know, kidnapped the uh, Alexander and stuff like that, but... Nah. Uh, I'm looking forward to uh, obliterating this family. Anyway, I'll see you all in see you in the next episode.